The storage and exchange of value, known as money, will always be manipulated by those that seek to control others. Cryptocurrency, simply put, is digital money, which gives that control back to the people. If someone told you decades ago that all of your devices would soon be connected to a vast network that's rapidly growing at a rate so fast you could never reach the end, kind of like our own universe, you might have called it science fiction. But now, we call it the internet. And as the internet was starting to enter the mainstream in 1998, a computer engineer named Wei Dai published a white paper describing B-Money, anonymous electronic cash described as money which is impossible to regulate. Transactions are verified by the community who update a collective ledger book and are awarded B-Money for their effort. Shortly thereafter, a man named Nick Zabo created BitGold, which improved upon B-Money. Users dedicated computing power to solving puzzles which are sent to a public registry, and each solution becomes part of the next challenge, creating a chain. To avoid the issue of double spending, some digital currencies proposed forming a central authority, but this was unacceptable to Sabo. In 2004, a developer named Hal Finney, who had worked for PGP, Pretty Good Privacy, created his own proof-of-work system, similar to the previous two. While these currencies were functional, the code was not open to the public. And then, in 2008, a white paper was released describing a new cryptocurrency which would ignite a financial revolution. Its name was Bitcoin.